Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to automatically populate a task when the stage of an opportunity is moving. Uh, this is really useful when you want to automate uh, your processes. So for example, let's say I create um, a, a list of tasks for the stage documentation, then every time I switch, uh, I complete my uh, engagement stage and I go to documentation stage, I will have automatically a, little, a list of tasks populated for my uh, sales representative. So I will show you how to do that. And for doing that, we are using Salesforce Flow. Uh, so Salesforce Flow is basically the way to automate your instance uh, within Salesforce. It's the next step after Process Builder as uh, Salesforce is removing uh, process builder uh, from the list of features in a couple of months. So let's jump into, into it. Uh, I will go into setup. I will go into flow. I click on flow. And I will create a new flow. So we will use a record trigger red flow because we will interact mostly with record. Uh, we will interact mostly with the opportunity object and we will uh, interact with this object when a record within opportunity is updated. Uh, the condition of entry, so we are working on if basically we are saying, if this, that, and this, then do that. And here we are working on the if. So if the condition, uh, so we will say stage is equal. So here we will go equal documentation and stage name. is change true. Okay, so we say that basically, we say within the opportunity object, if the stage name is equal to documentation and the stage name is changing, then we will do some action related to record. So we click on that, we have our if completed, now we are working on then. So we will create, create record, and we will call that create task. So we click on create task. How many records to create? We want to create only one record because we want to create only one task in this uh, specific case. Okay, uh, you, how to set rec the record field? We will click on use separate resource and literal value and we will call um, task. We will call the object task. And here we will add different fields. So the first one is activity date, when your task is due. So we will say we want to uh, have a, um, a task that is due in three days. So we will create uh, a new resource. This resource is a formula. And we will create uh, now three days, okay? Data type, we will create data time and the formula will be now plus three. Okay. Okay. Then uh, we will say, uh, who is owning this uh, this uh, this uh, this task? So we will do a couple of one. We will description. So we will say uh, record name. So record name. Uh, 
who I, the owner ID will be uh, so I will come back to it later. I will put a few. So I will put, I already put subject. I will put what ID, who ID. Uh, I will also call status, maybe not. Subject, maybe not. Yeah, we will put subject. Subject, okay. So basically, I will just fill out the value with the subject. So a subject, I can put anything. Uh, I will say, for example, uh, this is a new task. Uh, who ID, I'm just checking. I will say record contact. ID, what ID record opportunity ID and owner ID record created by ID. Record created by ID. Uh, oh. Okay, so basically here I have created my task. So we will click on uh, save. I'm saving it. Uh, we will call that create task flow. Okay. So just in my formula, I, I need to remove that uh, save. I save it and I will activate it directly. So now we are, I will just refresh my Salesforce. So now basically I'm here, I will say I'm on the engagement stage. And you should see a new task when I switch from engagement to documentation. So let's say mark stage is complete. And here you can see that there is a new task that have been automatically created thanks to uh, this flow. So now we will see how to create uh, more task. So uh, I can just uh, pass this element, element and I can say uh, edit element and here welcome and here I can say you should do that. So I will save it in uh, the same flow. So it's saving and I will activate it. And now if you go back into engagement and you click mark stage as complete, I should have um, three other new tasks that are populated or two. And here you can see, I have my, uh, my new tasks that are automatic, automatically created. And I have all the information that are populated um, from what I have requested into my flow. And I can also directly go into a uh, task. So I don't know where it is. Uh, so if I go into task, 
I don't know. Uh, but it's not really important. Ah, yeah, it's here. And here, yeah, here I have the list of all the tasks that I have to do uh, for this specific opportunity. So I can mark them as complete, send them to Slack, and all those good things. So I hope you have a better understanding of what you can do uh, with Flow. Like, uh, I think this is really useful to automatically populate ta tasks uh, based on how the opportunity uh, stage are moving. Uh, so thank you for watching this video and I hope we will create new video really soon. Thank you.